Alrighty, welcome to day two of the Gladiator series, where I am make, trying to get better at dueling. I've got like a tier system, I'm trying to get better at dueling first, then once I'm like good at dueling, I'm going to start trying to be really like a crack at in um, arenas, and then I'm going to focus on arenas and then really focus on wars. So right now, I'm in the Gladiator part where I just want to get really, really good at dueling. So this is day two, I've already got day one uploaded. I think on day two where I thought that there was going to be this massive climb to get better at dueling again because I hadn't dueled for six months. I sort of realized, okay, I still, I'm still okay. Like, I haven't lost everything. And I think also there's like a big increase in my confidence. And so here I am fighting Team Uptu, I think his name is. Now, what I do is I, for every person I duel, I say this is how many times I won and this is how many times I lost. This is not really to show how good I am, like, oh, look, I won this many times. It's really to show, because sometimes I've had people get upset with me in the past um, about, like, showing videos that I've won against them, even though I said that I lost heaps. So I figured if I just say, like, we had this many jewels, this is how many times I won, this is how many times I lost, then, like, there's no argument. You can be the, you can be the judge. Uh, I respect someone who keeps fighting you even though they're losing, because that's what I do. <laughs> so I know, I know it can be a bit demoralizing. So I think it's awesome when people do that. So in this case, I won 14 fights, and they won two. Um, but in the very last fight, they actually won it, which I thought was pretty awesome. So I'm going to show that fight, because I know like when I'm losing over and over and over, um, it's really cool to finish it off with a win, because you feel like you've kind of achieved something, right? So here's that fight. So I stam locked myself there, which is never good. So that puts me at a massive disadvantage. Um, and he's playing a little bit more, he's playing a little bit more, I guess, kitey. But, um, yeah, I definitely, um, and then he gets me in another stun there, which is, you know, really good. Gets some attacks on me, gets some else off me, so now he's taking his damage, pulls me in, so he's done some really good chain attacks on me. So it's, God, it's so close, but he wins. Right, the next person out was Celine, who I fought. Um, I won four, and they won seven. There are light armor, spear, SNS. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like this class is so ratty. <laughs> I fucking hate fighting it. Because it's basically, they come in, they try to get a stun off you. If they can't get a stun off on you, then they'll just run away again and then come back in. And it's just like, really annoying. But, um, I could just be being salty. But yeah, so, okay, so this is what I've picked up. Uh, I've been watching back the videos and I feel like, I'm less aggressive, and I try to get my main attacks off more when I lose. So you can see here, I go for a shockwave, he stuns me during that. I try to do the maelstrom, then I try to do another stun, which I actually get him in. But then I'm going to try to get him in a grab well. I do one light attack there and try to get a charge up on him, and I bet you I'm going to do a path of destiny. Yeah, there we go. So at no point am I light attacking him, really. I'm just trying to get all my stuns off him and hoping for the best, which is not the way to go about it. So when I won, win, I, stay, I, I start to win when I get more aggressive and do more light attacks on them. So here I'm going through my... So I actually do get him in a stun there. But you can see I'm not really winning it at this point. He's getting me to... It's... I mean, I'm winning by a little bit. But he's wearing me down. I'm just going through my skills. This is where I usually lose. But then I start to do more light attacks. Like right now, I start to change more light attacks. And look how quickly I turn that battle around. See, I'm way more aggressive. I'm getting on his ass. And then I'm able to finish him off. Speaking of classes, I hate mages. <laughs> right, this guy, we had three fights. I won two, and he won one. I was actually just trying to bring him back down to get away from the lag, but um, he's thrown at me. So with this, I'm trying to get on my warhammer. Obviously, I'm going to kill the pylon. And then I try to get on my warhammer, because it allowed with the lunge, it's a bit better to hit them. So I switch over to my warhammer, and I'm just trying to light attack them down. Like, I'm trying to light attack them whenever I can. Just to get on them and get that slow on them. I managed to catch him in a slow there. So I'm just now I've got him. I'm just I'm trying to be aggressive. Man, I can't believe I won this one. There we go. Here's a classic example of that hammer technique. Uh, this guy is on a bow and rapier. I just run out of stam, which is dumb. So I'm trying to use that warhammer to like lunge at him and get that slow on him and then try to sort of like do a few more attacks on him when I can. So uh, we had four fights, I won two, he won two. I'm really trying to fight bruises at the moment and get good at those fights and then I'm going to more move on to these ratty classes but 
I'll, I'll take it when there's no breezes around. Okay, so that light armor theory of me spamming my main skills is why I'm losing. I'm pretty sure I've confirmed it with this fight. I won eight of these fights. It's a great sword hatchet that I'm fighting against light armor. I won eight. They won four. I've gone through every time I've lost and every fight is like this. I'm just spamming all my attacks and every time I try to spam it, they'll weave out and weave in and get three hits on me. Because it's so... Look at that. See there? So just a classic example of what I just showed you there. Do my path of destiny. He dodges through it. Hits me. And then just... And then I go to do my other stun and then he just dodges out of it. Easy. And then if, if he hits me with a hatchet after that. So if I do catch him in some of those stuns, I definitely kill them. So there were some wins where I got that. Um, but I honestly think the better way to fight is to be really aggressive and stay light attacking. Especially because you're going to build up that Mauler's Fury. I'm here, I'm not even used... I, I stay on my um, Warhammer. There's a couple of fights where I stay on my Great Axe, but this is where I'm on my Warhammer. But you'll see that I'm really just light attacking them and maybe going for the stuns if I think I can get it off on them. But you can see, like, I'm not just chaining through my abilities nearly as much yeah it looks a little bit like i'm doing them quite a bit now but um towards the end of the fight so like you see i'm not really winning now but they are, now i switch to just light attacking them more often um and this is when i get control of the fight so there light attack light attack light attack light attack light attacks. So way more light attacks. Okay, this is, I've got this guy, let's finally get to some bruises, and uh, it's the same thing with bruises too, you really just want to stay on your Great Axe light attack as much as possible because you want to build up those Mauler's Furies, and then it'll make you, be, make you hit harder way than them. I do a part of Destiny because he hits some distance on me, but then I go back and then just start light attacking again. I do go through a stun here because I see he's out of stem. Oh no, you got to stand back, but I managed to catch him in it, and then I just finish him off, basically. But, you really want to stay on your light, light attacking or heavy attacking as much as possible to build up those builders' fury. So, I won seven fights, and he won one. Okay, let's do a deep dive on the next one, because I won none of the fights out of six. So, this is against Sheepy. We had six fights, he won every single one. Um, but, if you look at it in slow motion, you'll see that he just basically hits me more than I hit him. He's dodging better. So that's definitely something that I need to improve on. All right, so the duel starts. So we're just gonna go through a little bit of the first moments to show you what I mean. All right, so we both do a light attack and we both hit. Boom, boom. Okay. Now I go for my next light attack, but he dodges straight away and then he light attacks me. So now he's one up, he's one up. I hit air, he hit me. Okay, so now he does his Maelstrom, I dodge the first attack, but then I go to light attack him, and then I get hit with the second attack. So now I'm taking, doing less damage to him by quite a bit, right? So he, I hit him with a, a light attack there. I hit, and then he hits me there, and I don't hit him. I'm dodging backwards. Now I do my Maelstrom. I hit him with that Maelstrom, but he still hit me with a light attack. But now he dodges that, right? So now he's so now he's done more damage to me than I've done to him. So he got two light attacks on me over than what I got on him, and he managed to hit me with his final attack on the Maelstrom, and I missed. Um, and largely because, and so that means I would have been taking uh, doing less damage to him, and he would have been doing full damage to me. So. It was a close fight, but yeah, he, 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 this is why he's winning, because he's just got a bit of dodging, so that's something I need to improve on. Well, not just because he's got a bit of dodging, but that's one of the reasons, anyway. And one of the things you need to do is just stay calm. Um, the more excitable you get, well, for me, the more excitable I get, the more I lose. Just got to stay calm, take your time, so this is, for, this is a good example of that. We have a fight, I really stuff up at the start. And he um, gets me in a stun and does a lot of damage into me, but I just calm myself down. Um, you see, I'm just playing so badly right now. So he's doing a lot of damage to me, but I just calm myself down, get my composure, slow things down in your head, and just start to be a little bit patient and time your attacks, and then you can turn it around. 
So we had two fights and I won both of them. Just gotta, just gotta run. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing the less. You gotta be aggressive, but you've gotta be really like zen while you're doing it. Right. Here's another good example of that. If you if you time your attacks, so you don't rush them, take that little millisecond in between attacks and just stay calm, so you can you find it much easier to dodge all their attacks and stay aggressive on them. So you can see that there where I dodged all their attacks quite nicely. It's just you just gotta slow it down, so I dodge their path of destiny. You slow it down a little bit, you can read what they're doing a lot more, and you can see what they're trying to do a lot more, and then it makes it easier to get stuns off like that as well. So although they're gonna start off on me there. And there. But the main thing is just to stay calm. This is what I'm noticing. Stay calm. Don't rush your attacks. Just make sure your attacks are gonna land. That's more important. As we learnt from Sheepy, from the Sheepy Chronicles. You wanna make sure your attacks land. It's hard though, against good players, they'll put you under more pressure. Um, and they'll, you know, and, and they'll force you to speed up, and they'll force you to make mistakes like I did there. I fought this person 14 times, only one once. And the number of times they managed to catch me in a stun because I would get all flustered by them, constantly moving around me. And um, then I would start speeding up my attacks and then get caught in stuns, like, so many times. So it was actually incredibly frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, this is definitely me on one of the, the losing sides of a long dueling series where I lost like 13 out of 14. It's worth taking the losses though, that's why I hope no one gets offended when I'm showing me winning against someone six times in a row because I also show me losing six times in a row and that's the only way you're going to improve, you know? Like this guy here absolutely claps me, but um, I won one against his six and before I couldn't even come close to beating him, so... You know, even by day two, the improvements are getting better. See, I'm like dodging the stuns. I'm playing really well. I'm staying on the bar, so I, ah, I came close to beating them twice. Anyway, he even complimented yeah, me. Right. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with day three.